I had a series of visions when I was younger. And after each one ended, the same thought would be stuck in my head. What did you see? I saw none. Word of my visions reached the church, and I was asked to accompany a priest to an abbey in Romania. The abbey has a long history. Valak. Not all good. What? Jimmy Hidel. Kalian's here. Samuel and I have lost our daughter. No! We prayed to see our girl again. The contact started small. But then she wanted permission to move into the doll. We soon realized it wasn't our daughter. So we locked it away. We thought helping the girls could be our penance. This is our new orphanage. Wow, this is big as a castle. But we ended up giving it just what it wanted. You need help? I can manage it. Sister, you always say that even though we can't see God, we can feel his presence. In this house, I feel a different kind of presence. An evil one. Is coming after me because I'm the weakest. You help me. What do you need? Are you okay? I'm fine. Janus found this doll. What doll? The one in the white dress. She mustn't go near that doll. <gasps> she can walk. Forgive me, sister, for how I got to say. John, wake up. What is it? Next door, I heard a scream. Stay here. I'll go check it out. John? Is everything all right? Oh my God, they're covered in blood. Go back inside. It's not mine. It's not. Go back inside and call an ambulance right now. Go! I like your dogs. You survived. You don't come out the other side of something like this weaker. What is there left to be scared of? This is the last of them. How did that get in there? I swear I threw it out. Things must have got mixed up. There, she fits right in.
is a ghost. Sometimes demons can attach themselves to objects. What do I do? Protect your family. It's 918. We're headed down into the cellar where the door's just opened on its own. You give us a sign that you want to communicate with us. Nothing. <laughs> what are you guys? Well, we've been called ghost hunters, paranormal researchers. But we prefer to be known simply as Ed and Lorraine Warren. There's someone here that would like to talk to you. There's something horrible happening in my house. It's November 1st, 1971. I'm sitting here with Carolyn Perrin, who, with her family, has been experiencing supernatural occurrences. You picking up anything in here, hon? Something awful happened here, Ed. What is it? Whatever Lorraine sees, feels, touches, it takes a toll on her. A little piece each time. You have a lot of spirits in here, but there's one that I'm most worried about because it is so hateful. That's not gonna help. This thing has latched itself to your family. Father, we never seen nothing like this. I'm coming with you. No way. I can't lose you. There's a lady in a dirty nightgown that I see in my dreams. She's standing in front of my mom's bed. Everything you see in here is either haunted, cursed, or has been used in some kind of ritualistic practice. <laughs> Nothing's a toy. It's safer for these things to be in here than out there. Sometimes it's better to keep the genie in the bottle. Don't your parents keep any creepy stuff around? We keep it all locked away in a room so that we're safe. It's not really good for anyone to go in there. What'd you do to get in there? Why did you 
do. I let her out. Who? Annabelle. I'm sorry. What else did you touch? Everything. Can I play with Annabelle? I think you have the wrong house. There's no Annabelle here. Yes, she is. I sometimes see things. Like how my mom sees things. The doll, it's a beacon for other spirits. I'm very sorry about your loss. It's your fault! I can't even imagine how you must feel. Your children... Mincing. Mincing. ...are safe now. But have they heard her crying? Have they felt the sting of her tears? They will. And she will come for them. Who? La Llorona. Make of that voice. Sounds confused. Is he see now? The voice on this tape is coming from an 11 year old girl. They're calling it England's Amityville. There is a family that desperately needs our help. After everything we've seen, there isn't much that rattles either of us anymore. But this one, this one still haunts me. Does it feel like the voice is coming from inside you? More like it's coming from behind me. Like I'm being used. Janet, are you all right? Stop, Stop calling, calling me Janet. Janet. She's such a good girl. What's there wrong with her? An oppressing spirit will try to force you to commit the ultimate sin. And what's that? Murder? Suicide? Or both? You believe us, don't you? 
sensing a presence? I'm not sensing anything. All I can sense is their own fear. <laughs> You're bleeding. What is happening? I had a premonition of your death. Who's that? The family's just a pawn. Something inhuman wants to kill you. If we keep doing this... You're going to die. You okay there? Jesus. I think I hurt someone. This is Ed Warren, here with Lorraine. All right, let's get started. Residents of Brookfield were shocked this afternoon by the broad daylight murder of Bruno Sauls. The court accepts the existence of God every time a witness swears to tell the truth. I think it's about time they accept the existence of the devil. Whatever is going on, whatever happened that day, that was not Arnie. It's a witch's totem. We think your family was cursed. And that connection's still broken. I'm only interested in reality. But I can see things that your people can't. <laughs> Something terrible happened here. Master Satan is not an adversary to be taken lightly. She's doing it again. She's reaching out to the darkness. Lorraine, you need to come back. Is saving him worth everything you have? Because that's what it may very well cost. Right.